group of pro-Palestinian activists staged a sit-in at Liverpool Street Station in London last night in protest at Israel's uh, war with Hamas. That's right. At <laughs> So that's Liverpool Street Station uh, here in London. And more than 500 people joined the protest. To, well, the thing is, they're saying they're demanding an, inst uh, an instant ceasefire to the attacks. But actually, what they are chanting, Sarah Vine, who's with us uh, now, is Free Palestine, which is a very different sort of protest. Well, the thing is, what really surprises me about so many of these protests, which, which seem to be supporting Hamas, I mean, I'm not, you know, uh, not everybody there will be you know, of that ilk. But there's a lot of, there are a lot of people at these protests who are openly supporting Hamas, wearing mm. pictures of people with, you know, parachutes uh, and, yeah. and chanting understood Hamas slogans, is that so many of them are women. It's yeah. very... Yeah. In fact, and in fact that, this group was yeah. organised... People are on the radio. Yeah. That, 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 I would say that protest is dominated by women. And it was organised by something called the Sisters of Something or Other. And, yeah. and it, really, it's, it really upsets me, the fact that so many women seem to be supporting a group of people who just went into, into civilian houses and just raped and tortured other women. I mean, you know, it, and, and also let's not forget... And that, killed their babies. Yes, and also let's not forget that Hamas are funded by Iran. Mm. And we just had, uh, last week, um, another young girl died in a hospital in she Iran, did. having been beaten up by the morality police, who were also, as it happens, women. It's very, it's, I think mm. as a woman, it's very disturbing, this sort of... Um, anti-woman feeling from women. It's just really bizarre. I just don't understand I guess, it. I guess they would argue that the, the, so many of the lives currently being lost in Gaza because of the bombing are children. Like Gaza has a disproportionate number of under-18s who yeah. live there. Um, but I, I agree with you, Sarah, because what I'm not hearing necessarily is, is calls for a ceasefire. This is very much a political mm. rally. Um, dealing with an issue that for the vast majority of people in this country feels a very long way away. And we well, I don't think it is a long way away. I mean, I think when you t strip everything back, if this is about the right of Israel to exist, mm. and it's about the right of Israel citizens to not have incursions mm. into their land the whole time. If you, if you don't think that Israel has a right to exist, that's a, de se that's a yeah. separate thing. But I do, and I think a lot of people do, and that's the position of the British government. It is a legitimate state and yes, it has the right to exist. And therefore, if it is attacked by terrorists, which is what happened on October mm. the 7th, it has a right to retaliate yeah. and to defend itself. Now, of course, the humanitarian situation in Gaza is appalling. But the problem with Hamas is that they are embedded in Gaza mm. among the civilian population. And that tells you the kind of, I, well, I can't think of a polite word to say, the kind of people they are, which is that they don't care about civilians. Well, they they use, use them as, you know, these Human shields. They use them as human shields. They do. These people who run Hamas hide behind the skirts of women yeah. and they hide behind under the cots of little babies. And then, and, and, and so, so the, you know, so inevitably, and they do it on purpose because then it makes Israel it's look but, like but big, we, bad but baby killers. how do we killers? marry this idea that we've got to have the right to free demonstrations and protest with the idea well, that... Well, it has to be conducted yeah. within the rule of the law and you can't incite hatred. It's The, the, the other day, the, the police were taking down stickers Pauling. of... of, mm. of, 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 of missing Israeli children Misra yes. in London and yes. Manchester. And they, were, and they were taking down perfectly innocent posters saying this child is missing because they were worried about, you know, creating... I mean, you can't pander to, uh, to, to, to sort of terrorist sympathisers. It's just... Say it's, about the police it's that a they're red doing line. that, though, Sarah. The police well, are I, doing that. I just, you know... Uh, they, they, they think they that's what their impartial. bosses want. They think that's what their bosses want. That's the worry. It well, means that they're frightened, yes. doesn't it? Exactly. And, you know, we see in Paris people are having Stars of David put on their doors. Mm -hmm. It's... And, you know, and Jewish Jewish citizens in, in, in Britain are really, mm. really frightened. Definitely. I think the most terrifying footage that I've seen this week was at the airport in Russia mm. when the flight arrived from Tel Aviv yeah. mm. and 
hundreds, potentially mm. thousands of people had stormed the airport mm. and were surrounding the aeroplane. Mm. If anybody had got off that plane, yeah. they would have been lynched. Yeah. Somehow authorities have to step up to quell this yeah. division. Yeah. It's heartbreaking. And, and, and if you look on, I mean, a lot of this is coming from social media. TikTok, particularly, is very, very pro Hamas. If you go on there, mm. you will see that there's a. Yeah. And there are a lot of very young people who just get their news from a 30 second TikTok yeah. Click, yeah. clip, rather. Yeah. And, and it, it, it simplifies the situation beyond belief. Mm. But, you know, it's a really grown up problem. And it's not, it's not something that you can just sort of mm. dismiss in a, in a piece of, you know, little sort of dancey yeah. TikTok.